All right, we're adding subtracting radicals. Excuse me. Now we got cube root. It's okay. It's the same principle applies. Just now, triples can be taken out if we can uh, take them out. Now this one is good. Um, that guy, we can't reduce it any further. These other two, though, we'll check it out. Uh, 16, inside 16, is a 4 and a 4. So that's a 2 and a 2. And another 2. So it looks like uh, I can take out a triple of 2s. And so this guy becomes a, a negative 2 on the outside. The negative, two, the negative sign is waiting for this triple to come out. And then that end 2 is actually still in there. Uh, this guy is here as well. These two are now like terms, so these will combine for a negative 3 cubed root of 2. All right, so negative 3, so definitely not those three, because I already know that inside 24 uh, is going to be uh, a 3. So that's 8 times 3, that's prime, and then inside 8 is actually the three twos that I'm looking for. So those three twos will come out for um, a multiply to that negative sign. So that would be four. And then we still got that three left on the inside. All right, so between these two, this guy is correct. And so moving over here, it looks like the answer is C. All right, when you have two radicals equaling each other, this is the best case scenario because, I mean, you know, back in the eighth grade, you would have never thought you would see this and you would have thought, oh, this is, I, I don't know what to do. You know, what's that? But when you square both sides, you just jumped three grade levels just by in one step. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and move the seven X here, but remember extraneous solutions. So we're going to look out for that. That's negative X equals negative one. So it looks like our final answer is just positive 1. But is 1 going to be a problem? 6 times 1 is positive 6. This will be 7 times 1 is 7. 7 minus 1 is positive 6. So, of course, radical 6 equals radical 6. So this guy's a good, a good final answer. All right. And so we'll keep on going with the radicals now. I believe we'll shift over here to, yeah. All right. So they get a little trickier. So I'm having my evening snack. M&M's and nuts and stuff, which is so, I should not be eating night snacks, like, especially at my age, like, but it's like I crave it. I used to make fun of my dad. My dad was, like, addicted to M&M's. Well, he still is. He eats them at night. I used to make fun of him when I was a kid. I was like, you idiot, why are you eating M&M's at night? I'm not going to. I get it, Dad. I get it. All right, 21. Got 40. Sorry, I'm tuning into the microphone. He's having a problem. Bro. All right. Now, might be tempting to square. All right, I won't do that again. I won't take a bite while I'm doing this. I'll do it in between takes. You might be tempted to square both sides. And it could work, but it's too much work. What you want to do first is you want to isolate the radical, then square it. Okay, so let's divide by 10 first. So now that's 4. Okay, now this is not like the previous problem because this one doesn't actually have a radical. So when you do square it, um, you're not undoing anything. You're actually making it equal to what it has to be on the inside. So you square him. So if you look at it, if I took the square root of some number, it has to equal 4. Well, the square root of 16 has to equal 4. So that's what allows us to do this. And so now when I add 2 to both sides, I get 18. Now 18 is our answer as long as it doesn't produce a problem. 18 minus 2 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 10 is 40. Okay, so that works. All right, so our answer is just 18. There's no other extraneous solutions. Okay, uh, 22. These are probably the toughest ones for radicals. Um, a couple days of practice will get you 
Um, you know, they require a couple days of practice to get the hang of it. Um, this is isolated, so I actually have to square this side, but I also have to square that side entirely, and so this means that I will get a middle term. I am not, I'm not doing a conjugate multiplication here. This is a squared minus 8a plus 16. And now this radical is completely free. So do keep in mind, and I, I just want to make sure, we, I know I kind of, I just feel like when I look at Marcellus uh, SAT uh, problems, it always seems like you guys miss the, the middle terms here when you multiply them. So I just want to make sure that, that happens. This is a traditional issue. It's not just Marcellus, but um, I just know it's the previous year. So I want to stress that when you multiply these two, you don't just get a squared plus 16. Okay. So anyways, um, now uh, this is a quadratic because uh, a can't just, no, there it's not a quadratic. That's a linear function. It takes you right back to algebra. This is usually algebra 2 and you want to have a, sometimes you can do it in algebra 1 too. You're going to solve this by setting it equal to 0. So all of these guys have to go. Okay. Just like all those mattresses and all of the mattress shops that close, it seems, all the time. 56. It's got to go. Everything must go. Every ma every mattress shop in the world is always going bankrupt. All right, so anyways, um, uh, we're looking for factors of 56. So that's negative 15, and that is negative 7 and negative 8. So a minus 8 and a minus 7 equals 0. Okay, so that gives us positive 8 and positive 7. Now, I did that fast because it should be fast for you. Um, but when I go back to the top, I need to check these out. So 8 minus 4 would give us 4. Okay, and that would equal the square root. So that's a positive 4, and with the 7, be a positive 3. So, so far, so good. 8, 56 minus 40 is a positive number. 7, 49 minus 40 is a positive number. So that's good. It's not going to actually give me any square root of negative numbers. Okay. So you'll notice that this whole chapter is kind of basic. It's pretty basic, but you're looking for extraneous or excluded solutions. So you're kind of keeping your eyes out for impossible situations. Um, but that didn't happen before. Okay. You, you got two answers, and that's it. You just you just kind of stop.